For me, I just got caught at the right time with the right information. I guess when I was um like a late, like probably around 16 or 17 years old, I started finding out about some of the animal cruelty things, and just ethically, it didn't really make sense to me to keep eating meat. So eventually, I stopped. So um, a lot of places now, when you're traveling on the road, uh, you have a lot of Middle Eastern places that the falafel becomes the the other spot, the other thing to go for, and a lot of times you get, um, some places have veggie burgers, but the main thing is really just um, carrying your food that you need with you, you know, taking your cereal, yeah. so you always have like, you know, a little carton of soy milk and some cereal, so you're always straight for breakfast and a snack kind of thing. Yeah, ultimately the, the best thing to have would be to have a, a, a chef come with, like a cook, you know, personal uh, food assistant director of operations and eating. But uh, <laughs> not time yet. Not yet. It's coming. It's in the mail. All right, just a couple more questions. You go ahead, sir. Well, you know, I was the question. I, I was watching this this thing on HBO. It was a special. I can't remember the name of it. Some, but it was like it was all about like eating habits and and different um different cultures, and they actually showed in China, like how people eat cats. And I'm really fond of cats, and I just happened to be sitting on my couch with my cat. And once I saw that, it just put everything into perspective. It was like, well, if I would eat m my cat, you know, what, what's the difference between actually eating a cat and a cow? And, you know, and then I started thinking about, well, if certain animals are considered lesser, well, so are certain people. And then that's not really fair to me. So I thought, like, the root of that, for me, consciously, would to be just to kind of consider life on equal terms, you know, just across the board. You know, at least for my personal, my own self, that's what I thought I needed to do to understand it better, so. Um, we could kill that ring if you want, because it's going to... Yeah. Um, did the cruelty towards animals have anything to do with me becoming a vegetarian? I guess, for myself, I was already a vegetarian before they started showing a lot of uh, in the behind the scenes at the chicken coop kind of stuff. And um, I guess I felt good realizing that, you know, well, I'm not supporting the industry as far as my, you know, my daily eating practices or whatever. But it was interesting to see, especially you know, with the little chicky, the way they do the chicks and the, you know, hmm. all that whole behind the scenes stuff and the, and the slaughterhouses and all that. And also, when I was younger, I worked at a, um, <clears throat> right here in North Philly, I worked at a, uh, I guess a, you call it like a summer youth program or whatever. And we were right up the street from the the pig slaughterhouse. And we used to take the kids by there, and you hear this. <laughs> then they have the trucks with just the insides. Just full of just the insides, you know, being shipped out, you know, just what's left over.